many different types of literature reviews. Each serves a different goal or research question, uses specific methods or may require more or fewer resources. After this video, you will know the differences between four often used review types and you will be able to pick the best match for your publication. This video also helps to recognize the different review types in other researchers' work. How much time did they invest? How thorough is their method? And what is the output? In this video we discuss four types of literature review. You can write a narrative, scoping, systematic or rapid review. Let's start with narrative review. The narrative review is a general approach to literature review. Its aim is to summarize the most important and recent knowledge about a topic of interest and to provide a holistic interpretation of the overall results. A narrative review doesn't require a systematic approach and so the quality of the review depends on the scope of the topic, the search strategy and the focus of the researcher. A narrative review takes between 6 and 12 months to write and doesn't follow a strict methodology. The output of a narrative review is usually a paper or a chapter in a doctoral thesis. Next, let's have a look at scoping review. In a scoping review, the breadth of the literature is explored and synthesized. You can use a scoping review to clarify working definitions and boundaries of a research topic, to map key concepts in the field of research, or to identify knowledge gaps. A scoping review may take a year or longer to write. The search and screening method of the literature is documented in detail. The prisma for scoping review is the recommended method. The output is a paper. What about systematic review? The systematic review is the most famous of the four, but also takes the most resources to complete. The aim of a systematic review is to offer a comprehensive overview of existing scientific literature about a specific research question. A systematic review requires a pre-registered review protocol that describes the rationale and search strategy for the review. It takes an estimated one to three years to write a systematic review and you need at least two researchers for the screening process. The output is a publication with an extensive method section that describes the search strategy and a meta-analysis of the included literature. Finally, let's look at rapid review. Similar to systematic review, the aim of a rapid review is to present a comprehensive overview of the existing literature. But in a rapid review, the researcher may take some methodological shortcuts to speed up the process. For example, the researcher may put stricter limitations on which articles to include in their search, or they may concentrate the efforts by adding co-researchers over a shorter period of time. As a result, the review can be finished in six months or less, but note that making shortcuts may result in a loss of rigor of your review. Which shortcuts are acceptable depends on the research question and aim of the review. Cochrane Rapid Review is the recommended method. The output of a rapid review is a paper. As you can see, which type of review you choose can make quite a difference. When you're deciding what kind of review you're going to write, make sure to keep in mind if it fits with your question and the available resources. For more information and examples of review papers, check the extensive library guide here. If you need any assistance with your literature review, get in touch with our information specialists at the Hansa Library.